This map is very unique in the sense that you literally get dropped off by a bus when you load in. We we have arrived. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to uh, the gaming channel. It's my pleasure having you here. What am I talking about? We accidentally stumbled across this map on stream today. Link in the description for my Twitch streams where I go live pretty much every day, realistically, whenever I feel like it. But lately, I've been going live every day. So link in the description if you do want to tune in. We just hit 15,000 followers, which is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys. Thumbs up the video, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, see you guys on Twitch. That should be all my shameless self-promotion. It is a giant, huge, beautiful monstrosity in my pants and this map is also really sick too phantom factory version one or fa phantomy phantom i don't actually know what it's called i don't know if it's a real place or anything i do know that's a beautiful skater xl map on stream today we were just doing what we do browsing through mod io seeing if there's any new maps and lo and behold phantom factory this was added to mod io 17 hours ago and it is beautiful not only is it a beautiful one of my favorite actually skater xl map it also has a full story mode and user interface if that makes any sense at all we did not clear that i don't want to go over the story mode aspect of it in this video but i do want to show you something wait i didn't even realize we can we can go in that we probably gotta talk to, to this guy or this girl this person this is my first day as a secretary here at the new phantom indoor skate park and i already blew it i lost my bag that has the keys for the front door on it if you can find and return i will let you in the park for free it's a red backpack i know i had it when i got off the bus this morning chances are they they are very mad they lost their their bag with the keys in it she is she's blowing it heavily i will save her career bus you left it on the bus and you can see on the top left of the screen it says zero out of one i'm assuming that's the the goals for this story mission which is really cool bag 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 if i were a bag if i were a bus on a bag a bag on a bus i would be by the road big bag bus by the big bad road oh big bad bag by the big bad bus stop i feel like we're getting closer i see a bus stop this is where i got dropped off yeah the there's the bag i see the bag we've located the bag <laughs> we got the bag this bus stop here i think is where you can access yeah the map options mission on and off park neon this so this is so sick you can you can toggle the the story mode essentially hey what's good girl i got your bag yeah, let's go. Get in there. Go ski. Okay. Ooh, look at her. She got the big red bag on. All right. Why do I feel like that's a different person? Did she not have different hair? Why is she standing like that? Okay, I'm being judgmental. Dude, this looks sick. Okay, so that's the park neon they were talking about. Damn, RGB skate park. Gamer park. Keep in mind, this is one skate park in the map this could be a map in itself you know what i mean dude i don't know what it is about rgb and neon lights but i love the way it looks like uh the primitive park out has the the rgb on the stairs i just think it looks so good i see some potential here and i want to see if it's doable i want to do no slide to tail slide to no slide i did not think that was gonna work first try oh my god you hear that Dude, the sounds. For me, what really does it for a map is little minuscule details like that, where you can just hear the echo of the warehouse when I pop a trick. Ready, watch. Kick flip. Tray flip. Null and reheal. It, it sounds like you're skating a, a giant warehouse. The, the sound design is really well done. I do this thing when I skate big maps like this, where I go into it with the intention of filming as much as i can i always get stuck on one obstacle or one like minuscule obstacle inside of one map inside of a giant map that i'm supposed to be doing a video on as beautiful as this rgb gamer skate park is we must move on and explore the rest of the map hey bud i'm trying to test this neon around the park help me out by grinding the ledges that i turn the neon on on if you can hit six of them in 30 seconds i'll open up the warehouse doors so you can just take a look around there for something to skate just don't steal any shoes or i'll get fired maybe at the runway maybe at the runway for the big hubba's at the front of the park and we'll get started see this is cool anything you want buddy anything for you i got you with those lifeless soulless heartbroken eyes 
I will do anything for you. Meet me at the hubba at the start. Oh, there he look, he, he teleported. He's there already. All right, bud. So here's how this is gonna work. I'll start the timer when you touch the first hubba that lights up, and then another light will light up, and so on until you have to hit six or time runs out. You have 30 seconds. If you don't hit six, now you reach always gonna be yeah. Say less. Oh, it lights up. Okay, I got it. First try, baby. Tell me I won't. We're starting off front tail. We're going over here now. We got 30 seconds to hit six of them. So two. Damn it. Attempt number two. I don't really think we're going for realism here. I think we're just going to try to do it. So I don't care if the tricks that I do are ugly or unrealistic or whatever. We're just going there. I can't hit that one. That was totally supposed to be a front blunt, but we are just going to slide with it. For some reason, I cannot get this third one. First one there. Pop out anything on this. Cool. Now we got to hit this big Bertha over here. All right. And then it uh, looks like a little bump to lead. No! That one's actually going to be tricky. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, my time ran out. I forgot I was timed. That was so close. We gotta do more heel flip variations. There's one, two. Uh, get over here. Now, why is it not counting? Do the trick. I suck at this. I suck at this game. Let's try doing this one all in one. And then we'll go back to the last one. That counts. We're, we're rolling with it. Why did that one not count? We're at four out of six. Why are these not counting? Why, why are none of these counting? What is going on? I'm doing all sorts of grinds. We're still at four out of six. What do you mean? That's good. I don't... Oh, it's over here. That's where we got to go. Now where? We need one more, baby. Where is the last one? Oh, it's over here. Go. Oh, it was right there. I see it. Next try, 100% I'm landing it. Yep, that was good. Okay, that was actually cool. Mm-hmm, totally. Last one, baby. It's over here somewhere. It's over here. I know I'm running a long time. Yes! Oh, the Tony Hawk sk skater sound effect. That was so satisfying. Well done. Meet me by the door. There you are. Come here, buddy. Nice. Here you go. Oh, what do we have here? A warehouse. We can go rummage through products. Very cool. Damn, this actually is really sick, though. It's just like, it's adding little... Uh, I don't know. I'm supposed to skate that. Skater XL is not a story-driven game. I don't even think it should be a story-driven game necessarily. But having something like this in a map is a really cool experience. All right. So we have some loading dock stuff. This map is this this map is giant. I know I've thrown this around in so many YouTube videos that it's almost lost its genuinity. But I really do think this is one of the more realistic Skater XL maps. Ew. I think this is one of the more realistic Skater XL maps that there is. And I think as the modding community in Skater XL progresses, the maps are getting more and more and more realistic, which is crazy how well the third party modding community is doing for a, a base game like Skater XL. Plenty of people do disagree with me, but I, I stand by what I say in saying that Session looks better graphically and visually than Skater XL does. Just the texture and the detail and the lighting and shading in session. This is this is session that we're looking at, by the way. I think this just looks better. Obviously, once you start getting into the skateboarding, you can see that session is still obviously in its alpha stages, whereas Skater XL is 1.0. It's actually out. When I first played this map on stream, my first thought was like, oh wow, this 
kind of looks like session and obviously because it's made in unity and not unreal engine i think there will always be you know graphical differences i don't know the, the textures the lighting like it doesn't look as skater xl -y as a lot of skater xl maps do i think this map stands out that, that's what i'm trying to say this, this map stands out from a lot of modded skater xl maps i just broke my shoulder this is fine that's normal that's a okay come on give me a, a good big spin bennett fakey flip or switch flip uh, eh. boom boom closer but no that's it there it is that one felt good damn that's a dream trick for me brick plaza we've skated it phantom indoor skate park we've skated it tennis courts that wow that is <laughs> that's not a tennis court garrett that's a basketball court basketball courts we've skated it bro this guy is so not having a good time right now <laughs> whatever he is uh in a loop and it's not looking good i feel bad for this man man i got way too high on my lunch break and lost the pipe wrench i need to turn on the fountain over there could you help me find it if you do it i'll set a piece of wood okay you, I, we're not getting the story mode today but as you can see you can interact with the npcs wow that looks like a really cool obstacle okay hold on i feel just like a solid front lip on an obstacle like that would be really cool a better one though no i i definitely said better not worse That's pretty sick. There's a lot of open space, which something that I never really do that I should do more often is playing with the object dropper. Whether you're in the alpha build of Skater XL where you have the, you know, the actual easy day one or just the modded one. With this much blank space, you can really make your own additions to the map. You know, imagine if I wasn't lazy and I spent more than four seconds building that, I could build a whole, a whole skate park here alone. Beautiful rails, beautiful ledges. We've explored a lot of this side. Let's see what's over here. There's these indoor skate parks all over and these they all require like the, the story mode quests to get into them. Wow, that person looks like they're in Squid Game. Another one there. The, the, this really, it's very detailed and in-depth what you can do and what you can unlock in this map. This looks like a really cool obstacle trick up okay you, you see the vision though i'm gonna go a little bit slower and just like backsmith Ooh, but that was a disgusting backsmith so good backsmith oh i did not mean to pop out like that whoops oh that's a good lock-in Oh, it was too good of a lock-in. I got stuck, and I just sacked it. Oh my god, that's inside me. More speed, more power, more backsmith. I popped out again. God damn it. There it is. Finally. That took way longer than it was supposed to. All right, what do we got? We got some more rail. It's pretty much like everywhere you go... There's something to skate. This reminds me of the ditch at Easy Day High School. You want to get your mega ramp skating on? No worries. This map is here to help. Nice. <laughs> I still got to work on my transition skating. Just get a big old indie in and then back three nose grab. Oh, I want to get up the street though. That'd be sick. Can you kickflip indie? I forgot to catch it. It did not grab. At all. Oh, there it is. Back three. What am I doing? My brain can't function when I try to do things other than what I normally do. Oh, if I got the kickflip indie, that would have been it. Kickflip, grab, catch, indie. Boom. Back three, nose grab. Boom, there it is, front big spin, fakey tray, switch, okay, that's it. <laughs> we, we did what we came to do. Looks like we got some sort of skate three style spillway. What's in here? I feel like I missed you Pennywise pop Chupapi through there. Muñano. Oh, don't think I'm supposed to go under that. This guy again, what does he want now? I dropped all my tools out of the back of my truck. I need them to drain the ditch. So first this guy gets too stolen on his lunch break. Now he's dropping his tools. This guy should get fired. I hate to say it, this guy deserves to get fired. What in the actual fuck is that? That is the most terrifying giant rat possum thing, platypus, that I've seen in my entire life that thing is absolutely huge i don't like that at all i was having a ton of fun skating this spot on stream just because it flows really nicely 
but you can kind of do like these cool little lines all the way throughout the brick area here end it off with a blizzard flip Yeet. to wall bash we actually we didn't do bad we actually skated a lot oh wait this is not what I thought it was. This is a crazy indoor skate park. Security guard's not letting me in though. He's not telling me I gotta do something before I can skate it. Have you heard they're setting up a game of skate in the art gallery? Okay, so the, a, a fair amount of the map you actually legitimately need to unlock before skating it. I feel like if I turn the missions off, I'd be able to explore the whole map. The only issue is I'm pushing every button here on my controller. I can't figure out how to turn them off. Keyboard maybe? Keyboard mouse? No. Oh, wait. Mission's off. Okay, there we go. Now, let me see if I can get in here. Ah, yes. There we go. Whoa, this is sick. Yo. Oh, it connects to the neon park. No way. This is so sick. Wow. I really think that this takes the cake as my, uh, my new favorite skater xl map it's been a while since I've, I've i've had a map that makes me say that but this has got to be it it's it's giant it has cool challenges it's unique and it's very visually pleasing i like it a lot as always or actually not as always because i've been forgetting lately i'm gonna do my best to continue putting the download links to maps in the description of my videos i know that's something i used to do all the time and lately i've been slacking on link should be down in the description i have to sneeze oh no <laughs> I feel like we barely even scratched the surface of this map. We explored the majority of the map itself, but it still has the whole story mode aspect of things that we haven't even looked at yet. Where am I going? This is a cool map, man. I, I really, really, really like this map. Here comes the thumbs. You know what this means. Thumbs up the video. Everybody likes the thumbs. The support has been unreal lately. The streams have been unreal lately. We hit 15,000 on Twitch, which is where I'm mainly streaming now. If you do want to tune in the streams, I think we have a fair amount of fun. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we have a, we have we have fun. Okay, I'm going to end the video now. Goodbye.